Jay-Z, Yo Gotti, and Rock Nation set to expose the Mississippi Penitentiary with an A&E documentary. So A&E Networks announced that uh, on Thursday, they will uh, that they will get the green light of an upcoming far four part docu series titled "Exposing Parchment." The series will follow Jay Z, Yo Gotti, and Rock Nation philanthropic branch Team Rock as they spearhead a civil rights lawsuit along with 29 inmates of Mississippi's notorious Parkman Prison. The doc will follow the inmates and rappers as they undergo lengthy efforts to perform uh, to reform the corrupt Mississippi Department of Corrections. The documentary comes after Parchman Prison made national headlines in December for its high death toll and rampant neglect of the inmates' basic human needs. The series will follow a developing legal case and will devolve further into Parchman's longstanding history of corruption and abuse. So, uh, to me, I think that this is going to be a very interesting series. There's a lot of different series that have been coming out on like A and E, on maybe even Lifetime. Uh, concerning uh, people of color, concerning certain uh, events in history that really need to be brought to light. So Cortez, I look at this as a major plus for Jay Z and, uh, and for Rock Nation. Yeah, that's what they're doing, man. They're taking their resources and using them for, for to try to put light on certain things in the, in the community. Because the, unfortunately, the prison systems in this country they are a high net business right now. You know, and unfortunately, they're not um, reinstitutionalizing these folk. They just, they literally got them up in there. They got them making, making, you know, got them in there building. It's like they turned the prisons to a, a sweat factory. They got them manufacturing stuff for other companies and everything. We need to figure out why do we, why is it a point? Why, t- why is the problem that we have with the, what's the problem with the prison system in this country in general? Com- in comparison to other prisons around the world, this is, this is a this is like a dollar over fist type situation. Most of these guys that go in these prisons, man, they don't come out the same. Mm-hmm. They come out harder. They come out. They come out harder. Sometimes even more aggressive than what they went in in for. That's so I'm, I'm glad Jay Z and them are doing this. Mm-hmm. And also, you know, I hope a lot more of these documentations that come out also exposes other things, such as a lot of stuff going on in these colleges, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah, they need to talk about that, man. How does college? That nobody don't. Certain things people don't want to talk about, man. That's, that, <laughs> that's true. That's true. But this is a great place to start, Marsha. I say, uh, from uh, a quote from the uh, vice president, executive vice president of uh, head programming for A and E, said that the series is emblematic of larger issues within the U.S. Cross, uh, criminal justice system, and we hope it spurs desperately need of awareness to both Parchman Prison and nationwide. So I feel. Do you feel that this is a plus for uh, oh. for the show for this to come out? I, I do. Um, with, with prisons, there are prisons of for profit, and if we look at the history of the prisons and what it means for the Black, Latino, people of color, we, we've been used for centuries. Um, and I think it's time that we expose it and actually, you know, get try and get some kind of what is it recognition for what it is mm-hmm. because it's, it's really sad you, and like you say you know people go in for a minor offense and come out hardened criminals mm-hmm. or you know people go in because they haven't done anything how many how many people of black and brown men and women you know were convicted for crimes they didn't commit and then spend their lives away from their loved ones and we find out years later because they were railroaded um, people seem to think that racism doesn't exist I and mean, they don't understand why people of color feel the way they do. Right. But, you know, I was watching this one TikTok and the man was saying the lady, the Ruby, uh, what's her last name? Gibbons, I think it is, who uh, was uh, the seg- desegregated school in Alabama. That was only 60 years ago. She's 67 right now. Wow. And those same people who is yelling and trying to kill her. They the same people that we see in church tomorrow, you know. Yeah. So it, mm-hmm. it's just like it's it. They don't understand because they're they're not their point of view is totally different. They they don't have the privilege, you know. They have a privilege that we don't, and so we continually see it, and they don't. So I, I think this lends light to what's going on, and you can't keep ignoring it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Mr. GPS, we got you here, sir. We got to let you know. And uh, yes, here's the, here's an issue that I have here. Well, not an issue, but this is a continuing quote that I have here from this article. On behalf of Team Rock, the Rock Nation attorney Alex Spiro filed the first 
suit against the Mississippi Department of Correction back in January 2020, citing the recent deaths of multiple inmates as a direct result of Mississippi's utter disregard for people and has, a co and has incarcerated and their constitutional rights. Now, the second suit was filed in February 2020 that represented 152 inmates and demanded that the barbaric conditions at Parchman be addressed immediately. So, do you feel as if that they are, uh, that the that Rock Nation is really going to dig in deep onto this prison system and what's going on? It'll shine a light, but, you know, are the people going to watch or are the people that are in it, are, are they going to listen? Mm. They may just keep on going, they may just keep on going back and doing what they used to do. Mm -hmm. Now what? You know, it's... Yeah, he's right. He he's right, he but, but it's still a good first start to expose these people, don't you think, GPS? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Well, then we're just going to have to see what happens here. But I do think that this will be a, a plus for A&E, a plus just for for people to really realize that the prison system is not as nice and pretty as everybody thinks it is, if they do think that way. But there's not been a release date set yet for this docu-series so we're gonna wait and see so we'll keep you abreast or two with the situation once it comes to us